Sometimes, like, the tsunami knocks over the buildings, but I do want to be on safe ground. Like, right now, I'm on the stairs, and so, ah, yep, that happened. So, I am trying. Oh, 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 the building landed on me. I am almost dead. Oh, no. <laughs> So before we begin, I wanted to just show you the display that I am putting on my desk. It's Roblox. I already had the three original blocks, um, and then these three are new, which you will see in the next video. I am voicing over this because I decided to have two videos of this. So this is the first guy. He's Keith. Um, I think he is from series one. I really love his red jacket and the extra details of the pockets on the front. I think is really cool. Um, and he's also got black gloves and these cool like cowboy pants. I don't know. They're like jeans, but then they're rugged. Um, and yeah, pay no attention to that. That's the sticky stuff I use to stick on top of the blocks, um, which you'll see again in the second video where I show you what it looks like. So, um, and with his face here, if we can get that off, uh, he's got a little bit of a smirking um, face, uh, but he looks pretty happy, pretty, you know, you know basic. Um, and then he's got these kind of futuristic glasses and these spiky brown hair. So let's put that back on there. Um, so yeah, he looks pretty cool, ready to go. Uh, this is Skater Boy, um, and so he's got a really happy expression. I like the little like, um, kind of like graffiti markings on his um, black attire, and he's got like this, I think it's a hoodie underneath it. It's gray and red. Um, I love the red accents. I really love like crimson and black to me personally. Um, and then he's got his little like, I don't know if it's a gang thing, <laughs> his little, little cro um, crown. Um, and here's his skateboard, and the wheels actually do roll which is really cool but that's why it's stuck to him because it, it might roll off somewhere else and then he's just got a simple ball cap a, a baseball cap <laughs> it's black with red um, and then his silly happy expression I love that face uh, it's so, so simple I like the little um, tongue and then this is Nuber Tuber and he looks like a ninja um, and again he's got that black with red accents on there I really love that um, he's kind of giving me a Raiden vibe from Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear Solid. Um, he did come with two swords, and I love that they both pull out, um, but I moved and I can't find the second sword. Kind of makes me sad, but I do have that one. Um, and then his helmet is also really cool. I have kind of a trouble getting it off. There we go. Um, and so he's got a simple expression on his face, kind of happy. And his helmet is also red with, um, I'm sorry, black with red accents. And then he's got these really cool spikes on the back. So this is really cool. I really like he's like kind of futuristic ninja. It's really cool. Nuber Tuber's joints are more um, noticeable. I think this is in the newer branding. Um, I'm kind of a noob to the toys. Uh, but Keith looks very traditional to me with the very the blocky look, um, and NuberTuber has more of the uh, circular, angular look. But enough of that for now, let's get on to the gaming. And just to let you know, as I said before, I've split the recording into two videos, so some of the comments I make might not seem relevant, but they will be once you see the second video. Sorry about this. <laughs> Hey friends, Cypress here. I hope you enjoyed the little unboxing of the last three Roblox blocks <laughs> that I needed to complete my little thing. I think it looks really cute over there um, by my PC. And uh, do let me know if you want me to do some more of those. I don't know if that's fun before I start a video or if you're just like, hey, just get to the game. And um, But anyway, so I just kind of wanted to start off um, kind of fun and a unique way. I hope. Um, so this is my character. Um, I go by Cypress pretty much everywhere and so I decided why not name my Roblox character that. Um, and so here she is. I'm going to hit um, 2D so you can see. Um, so I don't know anything in these, the names of these things. So this is a long twilight hair is what I have and the woman face. Oh, very um, original. <laughs> but I do like it. I like the face and the um, you know, there's a light little, you know, lipstick and stuff, um, because I am, obviously, I am 13 plus, as it says, and so I don't want, you know, I don't know, I, I think I should look my age as much as possible, I think. So, um, I have the woman's body, and then I also have, I can't 
Okay, yeah, so this, this is funny. I got the jeans and then I was like, but I really like that look. And I kept looking over through all of the, um, the, the shirts and stuff that they have. They have a lot of stuff. Um, and so um, I, I just kind of kept going back to this shirt and I was like, I don't know, I, I kind of want what the model was having. So I went ahead and got that shirt too. Um, and so I do have some other accessories and stuff too. I really wanted to wear these dog tags because they remind me of Metal Gear Solid, one of my favorite game series. Um, but I just didn't like the way it kind of floated. Um, one of the greatest things about Roblox is the simplistic design. Um, but unfortunately that sometimes makes the clothes and stuff not fit properly. Um, and so then of course, you know, I do have other things like other hairstyles and everything. Um, I have some down here, um, and then like glasses and hats and stuff. Um, and so I think I'm going to change it up, you know, depending on what game I play or, uh, see, there you go. That's like what I'm talking about is this hat looks cute and I love this hair, but they don't look good together. Um, and so here are the sunglasses. Anyway, they're sitting just slightly above, um, the, the woman's face. So you know, I, I can always change it up and everything and, and make sure things look good for whatever. Um, just like me, uh, I always change my hair color, so I know that my character, Cypress, is always going to change her hair color too. So, you know, it's just something that's that's what I love. It's part of the fun. I love going and shopping and getting, well, some of this stuff actually was free, um, as, as you saw. <laughs> um, but, you know, so yeah, just, just kind of mix it up and everything. But right now, I'm going very simplistic design. Um, but enough about my character. I'm sure you just want to see some gameplay. Um, so let's go ahead and start. Oh, I also wanted to show you my player badges just because this is one of the you know main reasons why I really like Roblox. I love that there are short mini games. So if I only have like five or 10 minutes to play, I can totally just have some fun and then go. Um, kind of like I just mentioned Metal Gear. Um, I have to set aside about two to three hours to play because those movie screens, um, you know, the, the cutscenes are so long. Um, but so with Roblox, you know, everything is uh, pretty, pretty easy. Not, not easy. It's challenging, but playing it is easy. Or I can just sit down and play it for two minutes or five minutes or whatever and then leave. And um, one of the other things that I love is um, getting badges. I like just seeing progress, you know, achievements in other games they're called. Um, and so I don't have a lot right now. Um, I did play Roblox on a different account. And uh, so I played for a little bit um, and then I decided to make my Cypress because I wanted to kind of, you know, just have fun and, and put my games and stuff online because sometimes, sometimes I think I'm funny, I hope I'm funny, or at least entertaining, or maybe I play something you didn't know existed and you can go play it yourself. And, um, and so I like getting badges to kind of remember where I went and some of the games I actually did go in um, just to get a thing of, hey, you visited. Um, I think that's what this is. Um, I don't remember this. Oh, oh, the animatronic world. Okay, yeah, I actually did want to play that. Um, it was more a little RPG, like role-playing. Um, I'm totally for role-playing, but right now I'm kind of into the, the action games, um, like the survival, um, Floor is Lava. I'm really looking for a good Floor is Lava game. Um, so yeah, this one says the Floor is Lava is the badge, but it's actually, it's the Flood Survival. Please leave down a comment down below. I'm really looking for, um, the good Floor is Lava. Um, if you play that series, that kind of game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it was, it was really cool. It was really good. Um, but anyway, I don't, I don't know where it went and I don't know like who made it. I should have paid more attention. Anyway, so yeah, these are my stuff. Um, yeah, I visited another Floor is Lava. So wh whatever is your favorite Floor is Lava game to play, I would love it if you put it in the comments so that I could go find it and play it. Um, but for now, I'm going to go play some games. Um, so I really do love the Natural Disaster Survival game. As you can see, I made it to 50 survivals. Love it. Um, and again, I love the badges. I like trying to get some things. Um, so I'm at 50, so I have a ways to go to get 100, 200, 400. Um, and then there's some weird like chance ones that I, I don't know if I can get because it depends. Like some of the stuff you have to be at the barn to get it. Um, and so it's it's by chance of how you get, unless I'm, I'm misunderstanding something, um, it's by chance on what you get to do um, 
what, what round you get to play and what area. So yeah, so unless I am missing something, I can't really choose, so how am I gonna get those badges? Um, but hopefully, if I try to play up to the 100, 200, 400, um, eventually I will get to those places and try. Um, and it was so sad, I did almost get one. It was the, I think it was a flood in your home. And I that was the only time I ever saw the home round. Like I'm always, I'm, I'm actually, I guess this is the barn, but there's always the like tsunami or something that happens here. I don't think I've ever had the fire here. And then I was finally at the house that it, and um, the badges for a flood, I think. And um, I almost survived it, and I, I like, I died like two seconds into it, um, or not into it, but two seconds before it, it stopped. Like literally, like I died, and then it stopped, and there was only, I think there were two survivors in that one. But anyway, oh my goodness, I'm I really actually just kind of play around um, for the first bit until the disaster comes. Yeah, get to higher ground, it's a tsunami. <gasps> oh, fall damage. Um, I am so bad climbing up these things, like for real. Um, but some people push me off the stairs, so I like to climb. Okay, so we're all coming up here. And, uh, and anyway, yeah, I forgot my story, but yeah, I think like two people survived that other one and I didn't get the badge, but that's okay because it gives me another reason to keep playing. So I'm going to probably go all the way up at the top. Um, although sometimes like the tsunami knocks over the buildings, but I do want to be on safe ground, like right now I'm on the stairs. And so, ah, yep, that happened. So I am trying. <laughs> Oh, oh, the building landed on me. I am almost dead. Oh, no. run, run, run. Okay, I should be okay now because the, well, I don't understand why the tsunami um, wave, like the that round, is so long because um, it just it's one wave that goes by and then it's done. And so I guess it's because just in case like a building crumbles, but I'm like right now, like why aren't we all survivors? The, the I don't think the tsunami ever comes back. I guess it, it can if you have two disasters. Um, but this one only has one, um, I don't know, actually I've never, I've only played one round that had the two disaster, um, I can't remember what they were, but it was like tornado and a meteor shower or something like that, so. Anyway, yeah, so I almost died on the very first one, um, that's not great, but I, I survived, so that's cool. Um, let me see if I can get up to the board before we start another round, and we can see as many up there, yes! So I have survived 54 already. All right, so I'm gonna end this video there. I'm so sorry that the beginning was kind of really lengthy, but I really wanted to show you my characters so you knew who you were like following around and everything. Um, so I did split this first video in half. So the second half I'm going to post at the exact same time. So you should be able to just hop right over there and watch all the action uh, where I start playing and everything. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. Give me a chance and let me know um, in the comments below if you have any specific Roblox games or other games that you'd like me to try. Um, and uh, until then, stay crazy! Bye!